Hey guys, welcome back to another plan with me. This week I am using this kit that I got in a panda box when I received that subscription. And then I am also going to be pulling in some washi from Simply Gilded, which hopefully will be coming on the screen soon. Yes, there we go. Um, those are both from the Candy Bow collection. I'm pulling in the pink and the blue with um, the silver bows. So um, then I'm just whiting out um, the bottom there and um, I'm pretty sure I switch white outs halfway through the video because I was using that big one before I knew about the Tombow ones and then I was just trying to use it up and then found out about the Tombow ones but um, right now I'm just stacking those two washies on the bottom of my planner to create a bottom washi because the kit did not come with it. Um, also, I apologize if you hear my dogs. They are very spoiled today and they get to be upstairs with me, so they're both laying next to me. They're being very good, but if you do hear any strange noises, it's probably my puppies that are sitting next to me. So, finishing up the bottom washi, um, we're going to move on to the sidebar. Um, I pull one of the full boxes from the kit. Oh, no, I did the little flags at the corner first. She came... With all, the kit came with all of these flags and they were the perfect size for the top so I don't know if that was planned or not but it worked out really well so I used some of those then I'm going into the sidebar and I'm pulling that quote box it says you are loved it's like a little pocket which is super cute um, then I am pulling out some habit trackers from strawberry lime designs same habit trackers that I used last week and um, I'm going to be putting those down. I spend a lot of time looking for things in this video so there are some kind of like why am I watching this blank screen um, but hopefully y'all will bear with me through that. So I just picked a pink and a blue that I thought would match. Um, the pink is definitely a little off but I used um, I think the pink that would have gone the best with this kit last week so um, and there are some darker pinks in the kit that I think work well with it, so it worked for me. Um, next I am pulling out, um, some other stuff to go in the sidebar. All, everything from the sidebar besides the full box is just kind of Frankenstein together. I've been really into, um, kind of making those kinds of kits where I don't have everything that I need, but I use some of my other stickers. So, um... For the, to continue the sidebar, I am pulling in those Instagram headers you see in the frame and I will be uh, picking out one of those to mark my Instagram posts for the week. Those headers are from my shop, Paper Moon & Co. Um, and then I'll be going through and finding a heart checklist. The heart checklist that I pull, I'm not completely sure where it's from, um, but that's kind of the nature of having leftovers. If you haven't seen um, how I kind of store my leftover stickers as I do compile all um, t kinds of stickers, I can't speak, all the stickers of one sort onto sticker sheets rather than just leaving them by shop. So I do tend to forget sometimes where certain things come from. So I finally found that ombre heart checklist that I was looking for. It's just pink and glossy. Um, and then I'm going to go through and kind of figure out what I'm doing for the rest of the sidebar. I decided to just put in goals and I had a little bit of room so I took my blue uh, candy washi and stuck that down. That goals header is from Crafts by Towie I think. And then the checklist with some of the kind of floral elements is from... It's a leftover from a GP Sticker Studio kit. So that kind of completes the sidebar. Now moving on into the rest of the week, I decided to omit headers this week because I didn't have any that I felt were really super matching the kit and that added much to the kit. Um, and I felt like they were just kind of taking up unnecessary space for if it wasn't actually cute um, with the kit. So then... Um, I thought that I might kind of like rotate patterns for the um, flags that I'm putting up there, but then I decided not to, and I also got confused and thought that I needed them for the whole week, but I'm using those to mark work, so um, I do not work on Saturdays and Sundays, so I didn't end up needing that. 
She does have little work texts in her kit, which was really nice because I typically have to pull those in. So I use those and then I kind of start going through and planning sort of day by day. Um, I decided to kind of like, I was, I think I just didn't have a process because typically I have a whole kit and I can kind of like use the kit and kind of let it guide me on what I wanted to do. I ended up using those little hearts to mark down my meetings for Monday. Um, it's kind of ironic because I'm actually uh, recording this voiceover on Monday at 1030 because I'm not at work because um, we actually had some electrical issues at work and we are not allowed to be in the building. So um, all of that stuff that I put down for work is kind of irrelevant. I put down a half box because we were supposed to have a little like carry-in picnic um, at lunchtime at work. And then I went ahead and put those little meal icons down at the bottom to mark my dinners. Um, then I believe I'll go ahead and put down a full box at some point um, just to kind of take up some space because I had already marked what I needed to do at work. Um, but it looks like I am trying to... I, I swear, guys, I try to edit these parts out. I really do, but I just don't always find them. So um, there I am whiting out my... Um, trying to white out. I think this is the point where my white out actually ran out and I switched to the Tombow, which is pretty funny. Um, so I will eventually white out that little header so that I can put a full box there. There we go. And like, I thought people were just like kidding. Like I didn't, I don't know if I thought they were kidding, but I was like, how great can a white out really be? Those white outs are so great. So get it on Amazon. Um, so yeah, I put down that full box, which is really cute. Just has an open like ring binder. And then I believe I kind of move on to the rest of the week. I forgot a ton of meetings and stuff to put in because I didn't have access to my work email, but I called and got access to it from home today. So um, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see the updated version of my planner. Um, I went ahead and put those two birthday labels at the top of the 22nd and the 23rd because I have two friends with birthdays this week. Wow, okay, so um, that little munchkin voice you just heard was Andrea from Scroll Prince Co. I forgot to mute the clip apparently, and if you can't tell, I tend to watch YouTube videos while I um, plan, and that's why I can mute it and do a voiceover. So I put down a little extra TV sticker. I think that's actually a Creating Co. one, and then I realized I put it on the wrong day. Um, I didn't have anything else for Tuesday at the time, but then I remembered a bunch of plans that I forgot. So I put down a full box on Tuesday and I had moved on to Wednesday. The TV is to mark down that Law & Order SVU is on. And then the half box is to mark down that we have callbacks for the podcast that I work for. We are in the middle of casting, which is really fun. So I put down that little audiobook um, sticker from Creating & Co. because I tend to use those to mark all things podcast related. I put down that full box with the little dresser or table or whatever it is, and I think it's super cute. Then I'm just kind of working my way up on Wednesday. I'm putting down a half box to mark that I have um, an off-site meeting, so it was a little more important than just I gotta go to my desk or leave my desk. I actually have to leave my building. Then I switch to Thursday. And, um, I'm putting down my little meal stickers at the bottom, continuing on with that trend. As I say, I think every time I don't really need to track my meals, but it's just something that helps me use up the stickers that come in my kits because I hate being wasteful. Um, and I know I could give them to someone who would use them, but I don't know. I just, I'm in the habit of it, I guess. So I'm using that little strip of washi and cutting it with my slice tool against a little Hello Petite Paper business card and um, sticking that back down in case I need to use the rest of it. But I'm using that to mark payday. So I use the little payday script and I thought that looked super cute. Um, then I'm kind of trying to plan out um, my videos. So I put down these little play buttons from Paper Moon and Company, my shop, and I put a gray one on Monday because I forgot to put that for publishing this video you're watching now. Um, then I also put a post office text on Monday because I needed to run to the post office. 
Um, so moving on, or moving back to the last half of the week, I believe I am trying to figure out my full box situation because um, the kit came with six full boxes and I typically need eight, counting the sidebar. Um, but then let's see what am I what am I gonna do next? It's a mystery to both you and me. Um, come on, Carrie, do something. Okay, so we're pulling in another one of those little audiobook um, stickers from Creedy and Co. with a flag from the kit to mark my podcast meeting. Then I decided to try to kind of create a full box from Simply Gilded Washi. I felt like this was a very like pink heavy spread in general, but especially like that day so far was very pink heavy. So I decided to pull in the blue one. I may end up doing the same thing for Saturday, but you'll see later in the video. I just omitted the full box for Saturday for now because I have zero plans that day and I didn't want to like fill it up before I knew what needed to be filled in where. So. I'm just kind of creating a full box from the washi, which is, I think, the first time I've done this with Simply Gilded Washi. I know it's the first time I've done it with Simply Gilded Washi, but I do think in one of my older planners I had kind of done this technique before, and it's actually, like, a really smart thing to do if you don't have enough full boxes. Um, it kind of makes your kits feel more complete, and I'm just whiting out that bottom line so that it didn't show up underneath. And I'll end up kind of slicing that um, last layer in half to kind of make it just fit the box, which is still a bit um, taller than the standard full box, but um, I don't know, it just made sense to me to kind of make it that shape. So I pulled that up, and then moving on to Friday, I believe. Um, I have a couple things going on on Friday, one being another meeting, so I put down that little heart, which those are really convenient just to do like little bullet point in meetings, put down the half box because I'm having dinner with my friends, my family friends, my godmother, because um, they're very sweet and want to help me celebrate just everything in my life, graduating, new job, all of that, put down a little bill do sticker and um, that little tea full box. Oh my gosh, my puppy is stretching right now, and he is the cutest thing ever. Okay. Um, and then I think at this point I realized that, wow, I have absolutely nothing to plan this weekend. So, you can't see it because I'm a dope, but I put down a um, weekend banner that I pulled in for McCready and Co. Leftover. Um, and then I took one of the little deco planners from the kit along with that little flag that says plan and stuck that down because I knew that I'd need to plan. I don't always plan on Sundays, but um, it's just a good place to stick it if I don't know when I'm going to plan because I'll probably be editing Plan With Me's on Sunday if I'm not um, directly planning. And then I put down that last little full box and I think we're pretty much done. So thank you guys for watching. Bye!